Hey guys, what's going on? It's your professional. Today we're going to be talking about how exactly infusion works, how much light you lose from infusing different levels of weapons together, and the math behind all of it. You see, there's a multiplier that's applied to how much light your old weapon or armor will be upgraded to, and that's what we're going to go over. And to figure this out, I've unnecessarily infused so many weapons and used so many legendary marks, but it's all been worth it because I've finally figured it out. So if you've been infusing your gear in the Taken King, you probably notice that sometimes you won't get the full amount of attack or defense that the item being infused into your gear originally had. For example, look at this Infinite Lines Titan Helm I'm infusing. I'm infusing it with an old helmet for my hunter, which by the way is a nice little trick if you didn't know already. You can infuse gear from a different class into your current class. But anyways, I'm infusing this Titan Helm with this 276 defense hunter helmet, and I thought for sure I would have gotten all 276 defense in my Titan Helm, right? It's close enough. Nope. How did I get one defense point less at 275? Well, here's how it works. If the difference of attack or defense between the two items you're infusing is less than six, this is really important, you won't lose any attack or defense upon infusion. Less than or equal to six, remember that. But if you're infusing an item that is seven or more higher attack or defense, there's a multiplier applied that determines how much you will lose from that infused item. If you notice from the first infusion of the Hunter Helmet into my Infinite Lines Helmet, the difference between these two items is exactly 7 apart, 269 to 276, which puts me over the threshold of 6 or more defense away, which means I'm going to have the loss multiplier applied to this infusion. If the Hunter Helmet had been exactly 275 defense or 6 away, I wouldn't have lost any light in the transaction. Now let's look at this next infusion, 220 legendary gauntlets with 278 Hunter gauntlets, a difference of 58 defense. How much do you think I'll lose here? The correct answer is 12. I lost 12 defense over my original value of 278 down to 266. What the heck? So how does the multiplier work then? Well, here it is. Destiny finds a stat difference between the two items being infused, takes 20% of that amount, and then after rounding, which is also very important, it gives you a final number of light that's taken away from your final total attack or defense stat. So let's go back to our first example. The difference here is 7 light. So let's multiply that by 20%, which gives us 1.4, and since Destiny can't take 1.4 light away, it rounds down to 1. It takes 1 defense point away from the final value after infusion. Now let's look at a difference of 8. 8 times 20 is, or 20% is 1.6, which now rounds up to 2 attack or defense points taken away. So you can see how important rounding is with this logic. A difference of 9 times 20% is 1.8, 20% of 10 is 2, 20% of 11 is 2.2, 20% of 12 is 2.4, so because of rounding, two items that are between 8 and 12 points away from one another rounds to 2 points off your final total item. But then infusing two items that are 13 or more points away from one another is additional points taken off because 20% of 13 is 2.6, which rounds up to 3. So here it is broken down further. So what does all this mean? This is too much math, I know, I know. So to figure it out when you're thinking about infusing two items, all you have to do is see how far away your two items are from each other, then multiply that number by 0.2 and round up or down, and you've got how much you'll lose in the transaction. That easy. So let's do a hypothetical situation to make it more clear. If I wanted to get those 220 Titan arms of mine infused with another set of arms that were, say, 296, but I don't want to lose any defense, I want them to be right at 296, here's how you would do it. Assuming you have some additional arms to infuse as well. Do not immediately infuse the 296 arms into the 220 arms. Your armor value would only go up to 281 and you'd lose 15 armor in the process because of that math that we did before. So what you need to do is infuse it as many times as it takes to get to 290 defense or higher because then you won't lose any defense in the final infusion because it'll be 6 or less away, which is exactly what you want. Now, this is admittedly much harder and costs a lot more marks and takes more patience, but if you can put that instant gratification aside, you'll have those old gloves all the way up to 296 instead of 281, which is very significant the higher you get in light level. Any piece of gear above 290 is really valuable at this stage in the game, and you don't want to waste them by infusing gear only to get lower defense or attack value. So that's my recommendation. Don't use anything above 290-ish, depending on where you are at the game, to be infused into anything lower than six points below it. I hope this is making at least a little bit of sense, but one more time, here's the formula you need to remember. And 
and I can hear a lot of you now saying, I'm not spending all my precious legendary marks on infusing stuff more than I have to. Well, if you think about it, you can get 30 marks a day from doing just one Crucible match and one story mission, which means you can infuse 10 times a day and not even lose legendary marks. Legendary marks are very easy to get right now, so take advantage and get that gear up to the highest possible level and don't settle with losing a few defense or attack points here and there, because every point matters when you're gearing up for the raid. So thanks for bearing with me guys, I know this was a lot, but just write down that formula, I'll put it in the description and in the reddit thread, but it really does make a difference because it's a huge help to understand how this infusion stuff works, because you do get quite a few high ranking blues that you should be infusing with your legendary gear to get yourself up to those higher light levels. But thanks for watching guys and hanging in there with me, I'll see you next time, bro out, peace.